it means a lot to get this opportunity to be able to spend the time traveling to get here um, and then see that that travel time and, and the work that we put in all pays off and seeing that pay off immediately. Doing pottery was a completely new experience for me. I wasn't expecting doing this. I kind of went in this trip thinking that the only almost meaningful part we do was electrifying the village, but getting to know these people, their family, and what they do with their lives through the, our pottery session was so powerful and valuable in um, not just learning the new skill of pottery, which I feel like I was able to improve on a bit, though my standard at start was quite low, um, but I also learned so much about what it means to be like a, the only family left in Ladakh who does um, pottery and how they managed to continue this legacy and, and, and the skills that they learned. And yeah, I, I really appreciate that they took time out of their day to pass on those valuable lessons to us. I consider myself an atheist, but I, I'm familiar with a lot of religions just based on my parents and my family and the background I've had. And being able to see a religion which I've heard about, but I've never actually seen in person, and being able to see it from so far up close, sitting right behind monks as they were praying, uh, was absolutely incredible. Um, and also just how welcoming they were towards us. Uh, prayer and religion are often such a private thing which communities often gatekeep from others but uh, these people really wanted us to feel welcome and even prayed took a lot of time out of their day to pray for us which is something that is absolutely incredible and um, the fact that they were willing to take kind of wish us good luck was just incredible and means the world to me. The moment we got here, uh, it was incredible seeing how the moment we got off the buses, the villagers were so, so welcoming. Um, greeted us all with scarves and with tea and cookies, and it was just incredible to see how we are people from a completely different area of the world that they have no reason to kind of accept and to kind of welcome in such a way. We're here on a school trip, really, like technically we're, I mean, as a senior, obviously I'm not, but Technically, people are forced to do this, so they have no reason to be that nice to us. But the fact that they were still going out of their way to greet us so, like, back down before our hike and then hiking up was really amazing. The target today is to do eight households, that means two households per team. So all of you will be carrying the solar panel and the frame to the households. Each house is getting this 40 AH battery, which is at how many volt? Uh, 12. 12. 12. Well. Electrifying the village for me was absolutely wonderful. It was such a unique experience in my life. Um, you know, nothing I've ever done before has come close to what it was like. Just the tranquility that the villagers all seemed to have, the way that they just seemed so happy and so warm and so friendly. Um, you know, while we were working, they would come up, they would try and help us, they would, you know, offer us tea, they would just be there watching us and trying to learn from us. And it was just such a mesmerizing experience. The technology wasn't too difficult, but it's just something that you've never seen before. So it's going to take some time to really get the hang of it. But once you get the hang of it, it's really self-intuitive like, and you can just uh, do it yourself. I learned so much about the actual skills of setting up a solar grid. I was really scared at first because I felt like I had very minimal information on how to do it. 
but then we had an engineer who was so open and happy to help us. Um, he guided us through every step of the way and now at, after the two days I feel like I can almost do it by myself. Because I was plugging in the lights at the very end, uh, I actually didn't see the villagers' reaction. But just from my reaction, seeing the light goes on, it just felt really good because it felt like something, like it felt kind of unreal that I actually did that. Like I put in wires in the correct area and got my hands dirty in battery acid, and that caused the light to go on. For me, seeing the light go on was really impressive just to kind of show the work that we did as a group. It was nice to see them all together and the whole community ranging from the little kids who were running around whilst the old people were dancing. It was just, it was really magical. And then when we were allowed to go up and dance, the lady, I, I went and I stood and then the lady put me between two others because she was like, no, like we want you to dance with us. So I was there between two people who were dressed in the full like cultural clothing and it was like, it was beautiful. And then one of them turned to me and put her sort of necklace garland thing on me and it was so special in the way that she really she wanted me to wear it she wanted me to be part of it and she was trying to like teach me the words as we went around and the moves as we went around and it was just it was it was a really nice moment it's such a remote place um, and and there the part, the big part of the service, I think, is just being willing to put in that time and, and acclimatize and, um, you know, sleep for a day. And, and there's a lot of sacrifices, I think, that um, that students make to be uh, to be a part of this trip. And it, it requires you to take risks, um, and it requires uh, students to be curious. And and these are those are things that I value as a teacher. I really enjoy seeing students push their boundaries and, and have new experiences and learn from those things and, and not be afraid to try something that, you know, in another circumstance, they might not necessarily try, but PDW uh, gives a, a lot of students an opportunity to try to push their boundaries further than they have before um, and, and, and take some, some risks to, to learn about themselves and to learn about others and, and broaden their perspectives. And so um, I, I, this trip is a special one for that reason. Yeah.